Hey guys, welcome back. It is time for another little update on Liquid Marketplace. The video today, it seems like the audio is jacked up on it, so I'll have to re-record that bad boy. But it's okay, we got something a little bit fresh, a little bit new, and exciting. So, what uh, what is Liquid Marketplace up to? Surely, they told us they're in beta. If you haven't watched the, the full interview, uh, there's a link to that right above there. Uh, they have some stuff that they could explain, some stuff that they didn't want to talk about or they would hang up the call. But, uh, but yeah, surely at this point, they're in beta, they're working on everything, they're going to stick to their business model, which is to fractionalize collectibles uh, and certainly not get into something like consigning cards, which is weird. I've, surely this, they just mean like, you're going to give them the card and they're going to fractionalize it, right? That's what they mean by consignment here. Well, uh, no, it's not. They they actually mean you should send their cards, your cards to them, and uh, they are going to sell it on eBay for you. That's right. These bad boys that couldn't sell out a box break are going to make more money on cards than you can by just selling it on eBay, which anyone can do. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> this is the most ridiculous shit. It just keeps getting better and better here. So let's read through their post. New consignment service on Liquid Marketplace. Through a recent acquisition of a consignment business at Slab Sharks Inc., everyone, including the LMP community, can now sell their assets through us. So, um, surely this Slabs, Slab Shark Inc. Uh, isn't predatory uh, like Liquid Marketplace. Surely the name, you know, the predator, the shark. Surely it's some kind of like really big business. They have a huge name and like you're going to get so much out of it that it's worth sending to them, right? It's worth paying them a cut because surely this is some giant consignment business that they acquired, right? Spoiler, it's not. It's really bad. It's really bad. <laughs> Using our consignment service, the community will be able to market their assets through our network and social media channels. By the way, in before Ryan says, oh, this is because the community, it's something familiar for the community. Why don't you work on your beta shit? Fix that. Fix your actual platform that you're pushing to everyone that everyone lost a lot of money on, or at least most people did, right? Why use Liquid Marketplace Consignment? We list all consigned assets on eBay. Sure, that, there's a huge barrier to entry on that. Everyone and anyone can make an eBay account. With a special final value fee rate. Great. We create a seamless experience for our valuable community by handling shipping, processing, packaging, and buyer communications. All been to, built into the final value fee. Send your assets to Liquid Marketplace and we do the rest. It's as simple as that. Droplet. <laughs> Emoji. Now all Liquid Marketplace mini drops can be sold almost instantaneously if co-owners vote to do so, further reducing wait time. So I guess this is where they'll, they'll say, have they ever made a post at any point ever in the history of Liquid Marketplace that they didn't have to edit it? Do you think maybe you just like proofread it before you publish it as that would be more uh, professional, you might say? Oh my god. All right. So, Slab Shark Inc. Surely this is a, a giant company, right? No, we got 5,342 followers on Instagram. Okay. And the, okay, you're going to say rattle. Don't worry about that. Maybe they're just not big. Maybe Instagram is not their main platform. Maybe they're bigger on other stuff, on other social media, right? So, if we go to their link tree, um we'll 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 get a little glimpse at that. But it's interesting to uh to note here that uh the owner or this company is also in Toronto, Canada. So basically touching touching buns with Liquid Marketplace. So surely it's like just a friend of theirs or something, right? Surely it's is it you guys remember Karn that was mentioned in the interview that we did? Uh the owner of the uh the the Pikachu eight, the illustrator. Yeah, it's him. It's it's just him. So like even if you go back as far as you can. In the Slab Shark Inc. Slab Sharks Inc. <laughs> uh, Instagram page here. And sure enough, he's wearing a fucking Liquid Marketplace hat. Like, I don't know, like, if, if you think that by just, like, not disclosing details like this, like how the booster box was your booster box and you were just trying to dump it uh, unsuccessfully, mind you. 
but now like you're going to try and make people believe that you acquired this consignment company that's just the, one of the guys that was in on the liquid marketplace stuff with you are we, are we serious did you think people were not going to notice all right, so let's uh, let's take a look at the um, surely the Instagram is not the the biggest thing. Surely a lot of these other, um, especially the eBay store. So oddly enough, we have no listing here for an actual website. So this this consignment company doesn't even have a they don't have a company website. They have an eBay store, a Facebook, a TikTok, a YouTube, and an Instagram. Very high barrier to entry. But surely they have so many eBay sales that it makes up for it, right? Well, um, no, not really. They got 350 followers, which is pretty interesting. Um, would you would you pay a bunch of money to someone to sell your stuff if there's only 350 people that watch their junk? I wouldn't. Would you acquire a company that, that has very little following? Probably not. Unless it was your buddy that was also in on the liquid marketplace stuff, then maybe, maybe a good idea. But uh, okay, so here, this is interesting. We got IG underscore Slab Sharks Inc. So they're within their eBay name, they are implying that Instagram is their main platform, but they have 5,000 followers. Hmm. Pretty cool. We got look, we're selling a uh, special delivery Charizard. That's very high end. We got some some hockey cards here. Very Canadian of them. So what what's the uh, what's the payout rate here? What do, what do we gotta what do you gotta pay these slab sharkers to shark your money? Well, guess what? You get to pay them anywhere between ten and twenty percent of the sale price. It seems. That's pretty bad, considering you could just do it yourself. You're going to lose 20% more than the eBay fees. Very, very cute. Um, so there's there's one other thing here. Um, here, it says, we, there, there was no mention of a website, but here it says, please contact support at slabsharks.com. So I guess they just, they just don't advertise their website because it's, it's got to be slabsharks.com. But what happens if, if we go to slabsharks.com? Not, there's nothing. It's it's not a it's not a site. They might own the site, but they didn't put anything on it. So interesting that you'd use the email. I guess maybe fancier. I don't know if it is it less or more fancy than using a Gmail uh, when you have nothing on the website itself. You guys, let me know down below. Um, I don't know, guys. This is it looks it looks a whole lot uh, like a, a sketchy situation here. If we come back to here, there's also some uh, some arguments going on uh, where this user, Nick Davers, says trash marketplace can't even process a withdrawal. If you want to lose your money, this is the perfect place. So then we, they have, uh, this is typical liquid marketplace fashion where we have the liquid marketplace account who replies and says, please contact our support team, support at liquidmarketplace.io, and they will be able to assist you with withdrawal. And then Ryan, uh, the CEO slash founder slash co-founder slash whatever the hell he wants to call himself on any given day, says, Hi, Nick. We process all withdrawals as we receive them. Users need to ensure they provide information that matches the information on the bank account you provide. Please feel free to DM me if you're experiencing an issue, and I'll be happy to look into it for you personally. So the, the, again, this is not CEO behavior. Uh, this is just like a group of guys trying to bang out some money, um, in my opinion, but, uh, but yeah. Uh, and then Nick replies back with, and no, they won't. I have three tickets open on it and they won't respond. They're being extremely difficult and not helping whatsoever. I wouldn't be commenting here if I didn't try that. So they have been deleting a lot of comments. Um, they had like some, some shill accounts that were doing like the, you know, the little emoji that's got like the, the upward trend. Uh, and the, the people that replied back with the downward trend, they they got banned or blocked rather, which is kind of funny. Uh, I, it's kind of sad because with the amount of interaction and comments that they get on here, you think for a, a big multi-million dollar corporation that is supposedly make liquid marketplace 
and this like slab shark dude that's probably some dude in his basement that hasn't even cracked a thousand feedback on eBay. As an individual, that's not bad. As somebody that's doing consignments, if you don't have a thousand feedback, you just started. Oh, all right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. See you guys next time. Look after each other. Join the Discord. Bye.